So we're looking at this 2008 Dodge Ram 3500. It's going to sit in here idling, and uh, as you can see, the headlights are going on and off by themselves. Dash lights are doing funky things. Radio display, instrument cluster display. But if I turn it off, now with the headlight switch in the off position, the headlights are still on high beam. And I still have control over the high beam, even though the headlights are off. Let's see what the headlight switch shows on the data list in the Tipum. So it's currently running with the headlights on high beam, yet the headlight switch is in the off position. Auto headlamp request is false. Headlamp switch shows it's in the headlamp position, but it's not. Let's try moving that switch around. So the headlamp switch shows it's in the headlamp position when it's not. So I think that's our problem is the headlight switch. Also the fog lights seem to come on and off by themselves for no reason. So let's have a look at that electrical circuit and see how it's designed. So right now the low beams are turning on and off. The parking lights are turning on and off. The fog lights are turning on and off. But the headlight switch is changing state here as you can see. Occasionally it actually, I don't know if that signal not applicable or not plausible. Again, let's find out how this circuit works. So here's the headlamp switch in the dash, uh, at least a portion of it. It's pretty simple, it's stepped resistances, and the headlight switch is actually an input to the instrument cluster. So there are two wires from the headlight switch, and depending on what position the headlight switch is in, I would imagine a reference voltage from the head instrument cluster gets dropped to a specific voltage. And the instrument cluster then talks across the CAN bus network to the totally integrated power module which is responsible for the control of the headlights and fog lights and running lights externally. So we were looking at data in the totally integrated power module but we should maybe have a look to see if there's data regarding the uh, status of the headlight switch and you notice the dimmer switch here is also uh, stepped resistances or resistive multiplexing as it's often referred to. We'll have a look at uh, instrument cluster data to see if it shows the headlight switch status in there. So here's the instru instrument cluster module which has got a brief, uh, an abbreviation of CCN for cabin compartment node. I'd be surprised. If, let's see if first of all if there's any codes in it front fog lamp switch circuit stuck Sh stored. Well that would make sense for the fog lamp circuit. Let's look at uh, functional or data in here and see if it shows the status of the headlight switch. So it shows it as off right now and I've got the key off and it is off. Let's try to put it in the various positions. So it seems to be responding right now, and the headlights are working fine right now, but the vehicle is not running. Well, that's kind of strange. Headlights work normally with the vehicle not running. Let's see what happens when we start it up. Did you hear the starter? 
failed to engage the one time when I turned the key to crank. More fun. So right now the headlamp switch is off. And yet the headlights show on low beam. Hmm. I like this disclaimer. Vehicle may not support all kids. Let's look at the headlights speaking on and off. And the headlight switch status is changing from any position with fog to low beam. And all I did was put the headlight switch in the, I believe in the park light mode. Let's try the headlight mode. So the voltage seems to be reading correctly here. I don't think that minor fluctuation is is a problem, but why is it acting the way it is? I'll put it back in part light. I don't see the fluctuations in the voltage from the switch causing the instrument cluster to command it to change. See if the park a fog light switch is shown in here. No, I think it's all all the same input. That's right, because it's all the same input. It's the status of the headlight switch changes the resistance to get different values, but like right now the fog lights are flickering on and off repeatedly. Now they're off. They just flashed on for a split second, as you can see. Strange. So we're going to have another look at this headlight problem. And I'm going to access the back of the headlight switch. We're tracing this white light green wire and white yellow wire. So the light green wire, the white with light green is the signal and this is a return. So I take this being uh, a ground, if you will. But we'll have a look at the voltages on those two wires. So I took this side panel off the uh, beside the dash here so you can reach in here and see there but I see somebody has tied in some kind of aftermarket wire going to a little box of some kind here behind this trim I don't know what that is they've tied it into the white light green wire and there's looks like power must be for a car starter to turn on the parking lights or something I wonder if that's causing an issue so what it is is a little micro relay and it probably allows the aftermarket car starter system that this vehicle is equipped with the ability to request the headlights be turned on or the parking lights be turned on during a remote start event. But this white wire here is teed into the actual wire coming from the headlight switch. So I'm going to put a, a voltmeter on that wire and see what it looks like. So this is kind of interesting. Back pin that white light green wire which I believe is the signal wire from the headlight switch and the vehicle hasn't been running for several minutes. Key hasn't been on. There's been no input. And this is what I see on that wire. And that's with the headlight switch off. Now I'm going to turn the headlight switch to the park position. and it sits at a flat 2.65 volts. I'm going to put it in headlight mode. It drops to 2 volts. I'm going to turn it back to park and back to off. So in off it sits at 3.34 and when I press the uh, fog lamp request it goes to 1.26. 
So I, I would say that this switch is working fine. But the problem was present when the vehicle was running. The headlights seem to uh, respond properly to the switch now. I'll have a look at what this signal looks like with the vehicle running. Here's something interesting. As soon as I turn the key on, the voltage from that circuit drops to zero. That little relay turns on when I turn the key on. So that little relay is obviously screwing things up. And I don't know why it's doing that. I'm going to take the relay out. Take the relay out of the circuit. Okay, the headlights are off now. They work perfectly fine now. That's park lights. That's headlights. That's fog lamp request. So, I'm just going to leave that relay removed for now. It's obviously an aftermarket accessory. It has something to do with the, the car starter. I don't know why it's acting the way it is. I'm sure it's not supposed to, but that's what we're going to leave it for now. At least the headlights come.